Good afternoon folks, Mark here and welcome to the sofa. I'm still here with the weeping angel, although without wings she's more of a weeping person. Probably need to fix that and give her a place to cry. So why not join me at the sculpting table and let's get started. With her body sculpted, I could figure out how large everything else needed to be. A cursory Google told me that altars are three foot or so tall and sit on a raised floor. Building it to the right scale was easy. A little harder to make it look sensibly constructed, and detailed enough to look like religious furniture, of course. A rose motif seemed like a good fit. A layer of plaster would do for the platform, once I scored in some tiles. The excess plaster worked as edge strips to finish it off tidily. I was about to build the rest of the floor when I realised something. The measurements I'd worked out didn't include the wings. So I held off on that and switched back to the angel. First off, thanks for the tips, they were really useful. While the hands were the same size, that right one was still blobby, so task one was to shave it down. Second task was to slice off that twisted ankle. Painful, but not as rough as trying to put on a new one that didn't look noticeably worse. The ends of some of the hair got extra width to loosen those points. And of course, I ended up changing the sleeves to larger petals that seemed to fit better. which brought me onto the wings. Okay, beginner's wing anatomy. The arm bones are roughly here, with the fingers basically one block, and the thumb kind of hidden. Then we have the primary and secondary flight feathers, the primary and secondary coverts, and the top is just smaller coverts. Roughly, the bone lengths are in this ratio, but how big did I want them to actually be? 
sketching the main segments onto this handy photo, let me compare. Right then, wing bone armatures. There was a little bit of fiddling, but in the end, I just had them follow her body pose. With no clue how to go about the rest, I started with a wingtip feather. I figured I could sculpt more onto it, build up the edge, and work from there. Yeah, not so much. Plan B it is. And that meant sculpting a load of separate feathers. Filling out the armature a little. And gluing them all on. One at a time. Of course, I was a fair way along when I realised the membranes I'd added made no sense. That was a fairly easy fix though, and then it was back to gradually sticking on feathers. This went on for days. At last, though, I could stabilise the fringe with covers. By this point, I was already tired of feathers. Sucks to be me, I guess. But these could be done in larger sections, so we were picking up speed. I was even able to start adding details to the underside of the flight feathers. These overlapped the wrong way, so... I had to cut them off. Then make a few repairs. And unstick myself. The underside covets I made a bit more fluffy and rounded, but it was all much the same stuff. This took me weeks, so I won't subject you to it all.
I sculpted sections on each wing before baking them, switching between overwing and underwing. Eventually I glued them back on, and started adding tiny feathers to cover the seams. Which leads us back to the base. Originally, this is how big I thought it would be. Which it isn't going to be, clearly. Same layout, much bigger it turns out. Another flat slab of plaster to make. Which I scored top and bottom and snapped apart because I'd need to build around the raised section. Glued everything up, then sawed off the overhanging edges. Then... I smashed the altar up. What? I wanted realistic debris. Well, that's the sculpting finished. When I started the wings, I thought this would be a quick video. <laughs> Got that wrong. I don't know that I'm totally happy with the wing poses, and maybe I went too far on the details, but I do know I'm not doing them again. When she slid onto the diorama proper, it's hard to mind any little mistakes. Now I just need a stained glass design. Any ideas? I'll go and think about that, and maybe I'll see you next time. <laughs>